everyone welcome to the start of my second trimester video now i'm gonna be honest i haven't had the very best start to this video i'll explain why in a second um but i'm currently like 17 weeks and four days as i'm filming this video right now it's saturday the 25th of january um i haven't really filmed anything of my second trimester up until now but i have been keeping some notes on my phone so what i thought i would do is just sit down and run you through how i've been feeling and things over the last couple of weeks the reason that during my 14th week of pregnancy my first week of my second trimester i didn't vlog any of this at the time is because on the very start of my second trimester um the day that i was going to start this video uh nick my husband um found out that one of his close family members had passed away so for obvious reasons um my focus was on nick my family and making sure they were okay and supporting them um and just getting through a really shitty start to the year i think one of the hardest things that i found with being pregnant during that week is that as i said because i was experiencing like the dizziness and the headaches and things i was needing to like be selfish and take time for myself to have a nap and to rest and to make sure that i was eating even when other people that i was looking after like didn't feel like eating during the grieving period and i felt really selfish as i said during that time even though i know it's not selfish but it kind of made me realize and this is probably like off topic to if you're just watching this video for a second trimester update but it made me realize that if i wasn't pregnant in that situation i probably wouldn't have taken care of myself but because i was and am pregnant and i was in that situation i was kind of forced to take care of myself because it's not just myself now that i'm taking care of um so yeah that was kind of like an unexpected learning during a really shitty week moving on to week 15 i luckily noticed that the headaches and the dizziness and things were starting to subside and i was feeling what i've written down as a lot more energy but i think it was just like a normal amount of energy because i'd been feeling so low um i was still having daily naps every single day of course that's what daily means um but i wasn't feeling as exhausted which was good because during week 15 i'm pretty sure it was week 15 um is also the week that we went to melbourne to celebrate our one year wedding anniversary so i didn't vlog that week because i was filming that video i didn't really talk about pregnancy in that video but again there'll be a card to it up above if you want to go and check out what we did in melbourne week 16 was a happy and it was an exciting week because it's when we posted online and like told everyone that we were expecting a baby so it made it feel a lot more real and it was quite like freeing and such a relief to be able to just like openly talk about it at work if i was like feeling sick or if i was feeling hungry or whatever that brings us to this week which is week 17 and as i said i feel like i've started showing a little bit more definitely in some outfits um like i don't even have to like push my tummy out my tummy just like sticks out and we went to a wedding earlier on this week which was my sister-in-law's wedding nick's sister um and a few people did ask me if i was pregnant but i think because they must have like picked up on other people talking about it at least i hope because otherwise it's kind of rude to ask people if you think they're pregnant i also started to try and train myself to sleep on my side this week because i've heard around the second trimester uh you shouldn't be sleeping on your back anymore which is normally how i would sleep but yeah that was a massively long ramble but now you're all caught up with my second trimester so far so now we can resume to normal vlogging for the rest of my trimester hello today is the 2nd of february this is my sister <laughs> and we are about to go and buy a pram hopefully so hopefully charlie have it. very kindly said that she wanted to buy nick and i or our baby more a pram <laughs> um so a couple weeks ago we went and had a look and i've done a bunch of research and found the one that i want so finger sauce today we can buy it in the right color yes <laughs> So when we were in Melbourne, my uh, best friend Hannah's mum told us that when we go pram shopping and like car seat shopping we should take a sack of potatoes or like a really heavy handbag because of course a pram like this feels really light when there's nothing in it. I thought that was a bit like, you'd look a bit like an idiot carrying around a sack of potatoes. But the baby store they were in has these things which is like a 9kg baby that you can like put into all of the prams and test what they're like when you actually have a baby in them so that's pretty cool. And look at you holding a baby on your hip. <laughs> I wanted to pick up from the last clip you would have seen of us buying the pram so charlie my sister very kindly bought us a pram and a few accessories which i'm going to show you now our baby has just been so spoiled by my sister and by all of our family so it's already a very lucky little kid um 
but the pram that my sister got us which was the mountain buggy swift in it's called a silver color but it's essentially just like a gray color they didn't have any in stock so they have ordered that in for us when that comes in i'm sure i will update you but i wanted to show you some of the accessories that she very kindly bought us as well so the first thing is these clips that essentially like as you can kind of see here they like clip onto the frame of the buggy and it means that we can like clip the car seat right into it i've kind of half decided on what kind of car seat that um i want to get i've been doing a lot of research but nick and i have an antenatal class which is like three sessions on a saturday coming up in april and i feel like one of the things that we talk about in that class are uh, car seats and car seat safety and things like that so I think I'm going to hold off on buying a car seat until then so then I can just like have all of the research. She also got us a buggy sun cover and then also a buggy storm cover so baby can be protected no matter what the weather and then also she got us this lamb's wool liner which looks like that as you can see and it sits like um in the base of the car seat i mean of the pram so that when the baby is in it because it will be a winter baby it will be nice and cozy and nice and warm one of the other things that we have bought with plenty of time to spare is our crib so i knew which one i wanted it was like the best one that i'd seen in terms of like it was my most favorite one it was also the cheapest one um so we decided to buy it now because it was on a little bit of a sale and then also when i'd been looking at it previously it had sold out so we decided to just get it now so that we knew that we had it we bought this crib uh, in like middle of January I want to say just after we got back from our Melbourne wedding anniversary trip and Mocha only has a 30 day return policy so we thought that we might just get the crib out now put everything together make sure everything works and we don't need to return anything and then we can pack it down again obviously we're definitely not going to get the mattress back inside this box but I bought some rubbish bags I bought some of these big rubbish bags that we can tie a few of them around the mattress masking tape it up so it's all airtight and safe and secure um, until we need to actually use it when the baby arrives. And voila, we have a crib, the mattress, uh, as you might have seen in that little cutaway clip. It actually comes in like a bag that was just vacuum sealed, so we just like poked a hole in the bag and the mattress started rising, which means that we won't need to use the garbage bags that I bought, we'll just need to like use masking tape or something to duct up the hole that we made in the bag. But otherwise, here is our crib. Gotta be honest. I bought this crib A because I wanted like a wood style crib because all the walls in the nursery are gonna be white and then we've got like other bits of wood in there as well. So I thought it would be nice. Um, and this one was like the most kind of simple that I could find and it also reminded me of an Ikea one that I'd seen. But I think in the Ikea one it has these types of bars like the whole way around. I don't know how I feel about these end pieces. I'm sure it's actually better for the baby because it means that when we need to protect the sides when it can start like moving its hands and stuff around we won't need to worry about the whole entire crib. But yeah, first impressions, I think it looks great. It has like two levels that we can put uh, like the base ups. So obviously when the baby's younger, it doesn't have to be the way down the bottom. And it's also a little bit like shorter than I imagined it would be. I guess with the end pieces, at least one of them is gonna be covered by the wall where we plan on like having the nursery so it's only going to be like one of these that you'll see so maybe i'll just need to like i don't know decorate it somehow with like a garland or something to make it like not as in your face also i'm sure i'll just like get used to it when the whole room is put together but when it's in like literally a room that's like half filled with junk there's our baby bassinet in the corner and nick as well um it'll look a lot better but yeah that is our first impressions now we're going to take this down so something that i have been wanting to do for the last week or two is to go through my wardrobe and figure out exactly what clothes i can wear and what fits me because i have been finding recently that my belly is like definitely getting bigger it's like popped or whatever the terminology is like you can see it now you can tell that i'm pregnant i figure it will probably make my life a little bit easier if i just take out everything that no longer fits me and then maybe once i'm into my third trimester or something doing this again and once again like removing all the stuff that no longer fits so i can just see like exactly what i have to wear and if I do need to be buying more clothes like exactly what I need to be buying. So this is what my wardrobe is looking like before I start and this is what it looks like afterwards. I feel like the big differences are in this row which has all my t-shirts in it and then this row which has all of like my jeans in it. These are all of the clothes that I'm just going to be putting into the spare room for now. A lot of these t-shirts are stuff that still fits. They're just like a little bit tighter on my tummy than I would like and then a few of these skirts as well I'm sure that they do still fit me but 
I just don't really want to be wearing skirts because I'd have to literally be wearing them like up here. It is just about to go 8 o'clock on I think the 19th of February today. I am 21 weeks and one day and we just had our 20 week scan. This is the anatomy scan as the ultrasound technician said to us. Um, so we're able to see that the baby has like 10 fingers, 10 toes, it has like everything in the places that it should have it's all nice and healthy it has a good heartbeat um and then we could have found out the gender if we wanted to but when he was like looking at the anatomy of that stuff nick and i just shut our eyes because we don't want to know we want it to be a surprise also towards the end of the scan he had done everything that he needed to do he was just trying to get another photo for us um the fire alarm of the building started going off and then like two fire engines turned up and everything so a little bit of a dramatic end so i feel like the photos that we have from our 12 week ultrasound are still the best photos i'll just chuck one up on the screen right now which is just of like the baby's little face today is the 22nd of february it is my sister's birthday so happy birthday charlie even when you're watching this it will probably be april or later um but for the last couple weeks i want to say since like the beginning of february i've started to feel like little flutters of the baby moving and the baby like moving around and stuff which has been pretty cool and just before i was feeling the baby kick uh so i lay down to like to see if nick could feel anything and he felt his first baby flutter too which is pretty cool, eh? that was cool it definitely makes it feel a lot more real now that like the movements are starting to happen this week baby is as big as a coconut or a capsicum which i feel like are very different things size wise i imagine coconuts to be like a lot bigger than a capsicum on monday i also handed in my like uh, maternity leave application to work i know that i'm going to get maternity leave but in new zealand to like go through the process there's all this like paperwork that you have to fill out um and send to your bosses who then send to like the government basically to let them know that you're not going to be working while you're on maternity leave i'm also just going to quickly show you my bump it's like definitely a bump now especially in this dress i think it's like more like accentuated but yep there's baby hello everyone it is currently 11:37 on wednesday the 18th of march um and as you can see i'm working from home today because at least for me right now there is a lot of uh like covid stuff going on when you see this video in a couple weeks i don't know if things will be in a better position in a worse position it's just like a really weird time for everyone globally at the moment um i'm lucky that i am able to work from home um my work hasn't yet uh, requested that everyone be working from home all of the time but we have uh, had a request that we kind of like limit the amount of foot traffic within the office so we work from home a few days a week but also like who knows if that's going to change next week or as I said like by the time that you're watching this video as you can see from all this mess behind me I can't even get to the curtains to open the curtains in my office right now um, but we were just about to put the shelves up in our lounge and then turn this room which is currently my office into the nursery uh, so luckily I was able to just move all the stuff that was on my desk over there for now um, but we will probably just hold off doing the nursery a little bit longer because I will need to obviously be working from home a bit more than usual. I have just gone back from seeing my midwife um, who has suggested that I just work from home full time so I'm kind of glad now to have someone else make that decision for me. I also just went and had a blood test so um, I'm what like 25 weeks in a few days and I needed to go and have my diabetes test but she said I don't really completely understand it but something to do with like because I'm healthy or something like I didn't need to do the one hour or the two hour test where they make you like drink a sugary drink and then they take your blood after an hour um so I'm guessing if the results um of the test that I did today come back potentially bad then I might have to go in and like actually do that test but for now it was just like a blood test and stuff so that made it a lot easier it has just gone 1202 on monday the 30th of march uh today is officially the last day in my second trimester so i thought i would give you one final update from basically exactly where i started this video except this time i have a little subi with me for some moral support since i last spoke to you which would have been sometime last week i can't even remember when um there has been a lot of chat still going on in new zealand and a lot of developments that affect pregnant people so affect me so i just wanted to update you to see i don't know i guess if you're from new zealand and you're also pregnant how you're feeling about things if you were elsewhere what your countries are doing to support you while being pregnant the main thing they have been advising people who are likely to give birth in the next three months which is myself is that uh you're only allowed one support person in the delivery room with you which is fine because i was only planning on having nick anyway um but there's a bit of iffiness around um if that support person can be with you 
for the labor or if they can only be with you for the delivery but then there's kind of confirmation that that support person cannot be with you whilst you are still in the hospital ward but not in like the delivery suite so while you're in like recovery or whatever they call it um which would essentially mean that like for however long I was going to need to stay in hospital after giving birth um it would just be myself and the baby and Nick wouldn't be able to stay with us and he also wouldn't be able to visit us. So I know the reasoning behind it is because of course if, if your support person isn't able to stay uh, with you then of course they would need to be coming and going and then there's risk that they'll be tracking the virus uh, in or out but it is just like really scary to think about. I know of course there'll be uh, like the nurses and the doctors and my midwife maybe and like everyone to help me through that process but it is also just like quite scary just to think like I know they say don't have a birth plan because it's all going to go wrong anyway but I think there are a few things that you kind of just expect are a given when you're giving birth at least I definitely did and having Nick throughout that whole process with me was one of those things so again like stuff is changing daily so we're just going to have to see how it goes but at the moment that's something that I am kind of struggling to get my head around even though I know it's for the best it's just not what I had pictured. The other thing that I'm thinking about is all of the things that we still need to get for the baby so luckily I feel like I was too excited and I've done a lot of the shopping that I needed to do for the baby for when it comes so at least like cloth wise we have enough stuff we have a bassinet we have nappies and everything like that but there are definitely a few things that hopefully I can get from the pharmacy but then things like a car seat or a capsule we don't have that yet because I was waiting until uh, Easter to potentially purchase that so uh, hopefully shops do open up in time for us to be able to go and get that stuff before the baby is due because otherwise I don't know <laughs> what we're gonna do. Basically I'm just trying to take each day as it comes and not let stuff get to me too much because otherwise I feel like I could be having an emotional breakdown almost every day just because there's like so much information to process not even just baby wise but just like financially as well it's just like a lot going on at the moment which is also why I look like a hot mess right now. Um, but yeah, taking it day by day, it's definitely a weird time to be pregnant, I think. Um, especially for like a first time parent who I know like when the baby comes, if this is still going on, maybe I won't be able to have um, like the meetings that I need to have with my midwife to make sure the baby's putting on enough weight. Like what if I'm wanting to breastfeed and um, I can't get like a proper latch or something. There's all that stuff that like I might not be able to have the in-person support that I was hoping and expecting to have. Um, so there's definitely a lot of thoughts swirling around in my mind that I'm trying to not let get to me because there's literally nothing that I can do about it so I don't want to like be stressing about stuff that I can't control um, but yeah I think at a time like this it's kind of hard to not do that. That is all that I have to say though and that brings an end to this yeah pretty crazy second trimester. There's been a heck of a lot of stuff going on in this trimester. I feel like this video is probably going to be a lot longer than my first trimester so if you've made it to this part of the video thank you very much for watching I really appreciate it I hope you are staying safe and staying healthy staying home um, and yeah try and do something that's going to make you feel happy or feel positive that's maybe not related to all of the scary news that is out there right now um, and yeah have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all next week bye